Hey guys, I'll welcome to your energy check-in for Capricorn. This is going to be for the second half of your August from the 16th to the 30th. Uh, so uh, we're just going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for um, the second half of your August. And then we'll finish off the race to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique uh, un uh, unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, Book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about... Um, Capricorn, over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn expect for the second half of their August from the 16th to the 30th for Capricorn? Capricorn. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and Eight of Pentacles here. I mean, this could be an indication that you guys are working very hard. Yeah, there's a lot that you guys are doing here. Um, this is so interesting. You know, I feel like some of you guys could be writing a book about your experiences in life here too. Yeah, but you know, with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is an indication that, you know, you're working a lot, you're mastering your craft here. You know, I feel like you're a very skilled worker, a very skilled individual here. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have for Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn here. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Six of Pentacles here. Lots of Pentacles here. So there's, there's a major focus on work here. I do feel like, you know, some of you guys could be getting a raise here. Yeah, some of you guys could be getting some sort of bonus here for the work that you're doing here. Uh, even the promotion here. So whatever, you know, this page of pentacles is, I feel like you guys are receiving some sort of really good news about your work situation here. Okay, let's see what, what else we have here. We have the devil card here, Capricorn energy and the sun here. Just be careful not to get too obsessive or get too elbow deep and knee deep and make work about your life here because I feel like the universe or your guides and your angels and your ancestors also want you to enjoy your life here. You know, go out, have fun, you know, go hang out with your friends, you know, go travel and stuff like that. Go on like day trips, you know, go to the spa. All right. Talking about the King of Wands here. So the Devil here, Capricorn energy, the Sun Leo energy, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. You guys are doing really great. Yeah, you guys are absolutely doing really, 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 really great here. You know, I just feel like, you know, I just feel like you guys have set your sights. On, you guys just set your sights on something and make plan and just kind of go forward with it. Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, it seems like, you know, your hard work is really paying off here. But I feel like your guys and your angels and your ancestors here want you to take care of yourself. You know, don't make your life all about work here. We have the Knight of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's time to nourish yourself and feed your soul here. Do something fun. Yeah, do something adventurous. Step out, step out of your comfort zone here. Uh, but with the, all these pentacles here, you know, financially, career-wise, you're doing really, 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 really well, uh, uh, Capricorn. The uh, Devil card here and the Seven of Cups, the uh, Sun card here and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you know, I feel like you struggle with, like, I, I feel like someone here feels guilty if they go out and have fun. I feel like someone here feels guilty if they go and do something that they love or do some, like, do some traveling here. So I do feel like it's kind of like a bit misaligned here because, you know, you are allowed to take care of yourself. You are allowed to have a good time. You are allowed to have fun here. So I feel like someone here makes their life all about work here. And I feel like someone here is struggling just to do these, like, basic I guess fun things okay what else do we have here for capricorn what else do we have for capricorn what else does capricorn need to know look out for work on here for the second half of their august from the 16th to the 30th for capricorn for capricorn with the three of pentacles here and the eight of swords 
We have Six of Swords here and the Death card, and the Two of Wands here and the Judgment card, Sagittarius energy. Okay. Yeah, so I, I feel like someone here is holding themselves prisoner at work. Yeah, someone here is working too much. I get that work is great. I get that is a great way to, you know, sort of like put money away for the future and plan for the future, you know. Uh, but I feel like someone here is definitely losing sight of like what life is really all about. And it's not all about work here. Six of Swords and a Death card. Two of Wands here and Judgment. Sagittarius energy. Someone here has, that, has to get that notion or get that imprint or that indoctrination that, you know, in order for you to be worthy, in order for you to stand out is to overwork yourself like this. Okay, so a uh, two of wands and judgment Sagittarius energy here. Uh, tell me about the three of pentacles here. Three of pentacles here and the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh, we have the two of cups here and the eight of swords. You know, if you guys are in a relationship, I feel like you guys are don't even have time for this relationship here. If there's new love coming into your life, I feel like you're not even making time for this new relationship uh, uh, or this new person. Uh, because some, if you guys are single, some of you guys are about to meet your uh, soulmate here. Um, this could also be, um, uh, you know, uh, it could be a same-sex couple. It doesn't have to be here. Uh, it just seems like you guys are spending a lot of time dotting your I's and crossing your T's here and, and just dealing with a lot of work stuff here. Yeah, the death card. We have the Moon Cancer Pisces here. So I, I, I feel like someone here is having a hard time with this change or making this change happen. Yeah, someone here is having a hard time making this change happen. Someone in here is scared or someone here is like really insecure that you know, it would be frowned upon or look, looked down on. Uh, it, it seems like it's some sort of indoctrination that was like learned from like a parent. Yeah, uh, two of wands here and the four of pentacles here. Judgment here and the emperor, Aries energy. Why do I feel like somebody here has a lot, like a lot of financial weight on their shoulders here? Because I feel like someone here is not just making money for themselves. I feel like someone here is making money to support their family here. And I feel like maybe someone here grew up in a very traditional like household where like, you know, you grow up, you're supposed to support your family here. And I feel like someone here is being bogged down by work here. And someone here is not really enjoying their life. Yeah. I mean, Capricorn, maybe this is not you. Maybe this is someone that you know that's going through this here. But whatever this is, you know, I do feel like, you know, the universe or your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to have fun because, you know, you are very successful. You know, you're recognized for the work that you do here, you know, and I feel like, it, you know, people won't look down on you if you, uh, you know, just take care of yourself. Okay, so uh, Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.